you want to add a web app directly into a Samba Live session, such as, for example, a collaborative Google Doc or some app that you might have built yourself, you can now do that via the content library. You open the content library on the left hand side. And as you can see, I've already created myself a folder with my own web apps. And I'm going to walk you through how to create a web app yourself. I either click up here into add web app, or I can also do it over here from this menu. I want to add it directly to this folder. So I'm going to select it from this menu item. I click add web app. I'm going to call it um, collaborative Google Doc. And then I'm going to paste the link to my document here. In this case, I'm going to grab a simple Google Doc. And remember, if you're going to be using a Google Doc, you need to make sure that you've given people permissions to access this document or it's not going to work. So in this case, I've set this Google Doc to allow anybody with a link to access and edit. Um, depending on how you're going to use this, you might want to set the permissions differently. Just keep that in mind. And then you paste the link into here and click add. And now the document has appeared in my media library. It says web app added to media library. So I've got that over here. And now to open it, I simply double click it. And it's that simple. I can now start collaborating inside this document. Hello, this is a collaborative doc. And let's say, you know, we had multiple users working together here, all of us connected via video then that wouldn't be an issue at all. We could all start to work together. Um, this lots beautifully into our layouts so I can you know, create my screen, set my screen up just the way I want. And we start working together over here. It's um, really quite, uh, quite straightforward. So let's say somebody were connected from somewhere else and typed into this document. Then of course I would see these updates directly within the sessions as well. So, um, you know, it's that easy to now start collaborating via video conference in Samba Live on pretty much any document you like. Um, it doesn't have to be a Google Doc. It can really be any kind of website. So let's just have a look at a couple of the other examples I have over here. For example, here I have uh, I'm linking to a web store. Um, you can see that this might be a landing page. Maybe I'm trying to sell this art or I'm trying to push a PDF downloads at the end of my webinar, then I can push the landing page directly into the session. Um, it's very powerful, this feature. So we really look forward to seeing what you're going to do with it. Let us know in the comments what you think or send us an email to support at digitalsamba.com with your feedback. Thanks for watching.